Hey guys. I'm always talking about metal working dents out so that you don't really have to use much filler. But I always talk about uh, using the, the spoon. Let me flip this over and see if I can see what you guys are seeing here. Okay. So anyway, using this spoon to basically tap the dents out. The Camaro logo was right here, so I welded these shut. They were already a little bit low uh, before I started welding them. Don't know if this thing gets pressed down or if it sucks down and kind of makes some indentations or whatever. Well, there's going to be a spoiler here, so I, I get it. I know people are going to go, oh, well, there's gonna be, it's going to be covered anyway. I get it. I'm just trying to show you guys how you can metal work these dents out if you can get to the bottom with the dolly. The only issue is I don't have a dolly that fits up inside these little holes. So, right here, that's my dolly. And all that is is just a chisel. But it's got a nice, close to round, or close to flat, but a little bit rounded um, top. So I can press it up in there and hold. I'm gonna hold this hood or the trunk up just a little bit with it. And then I'm gonna tap, like I said, in a circular motion. Now, you can see I've got this all blacked out with my sharpie. Let's run over and see where our highs and lows are. All right, right there you can see, here's where our dent was. Here's where a hole was. And this is our dent. So this works on any dent, doesn't have to be a well, just any dent that you can access the back of the panel, any fender, any anything basically. So you're gonna take your take your dolly and get it right up underneath uh, the dent and push up basically. A lot of a lot of people think and, and this is this is what I thought for years. Why don't you just flip this over and hammer it down? Well, it doesn't really I mean, you can, but you're gonna end up just beating a lump in it. And then you're gonna have to shrink it and blah, blah, blah. So you kind of sneak up on it. And so push up on it, do your hammering. And so I'm gonna take you along on this one. See where your progress is? See here, it's still. push up from the back side. Now I ground that down pretty good from the back side but it's still a little dimply. So you can see I've got a little high right here. Take my metal file, go ahead and knock that high down. Start working it down like I'm working uh, the rest of the dent. I'm going to slowly work that material up to where it's all flush. smaller and smaller. So I'll just keep working it until it goes away.
I'm lightly filing that. I'm not cranking down on that or anything else. You don't want to gouge this up. You just want to lightly file the tops off of where you get your high spots. Um, if this wasn't a well, this probably wouldn't have this little dimply crap right here. Uh, being just a regular dent, you can just push up on it, tap it out, and it's going to be a little more smooth. This is a little goofy because, like I said, it was welded, and it makes a mirror image of whatever's on the back side, basically. So I try to grind that down as smooth as I could, but it, like I said, the hole is tiny, so just enough to where I can get this in because that was where they put the backer nuts in, basically. So what I'll go ahead and do here, which I can still see where I'm at, but I'm going to go ahead and run this over it again, just for shits and giggles here. Let that dry for a second. Basically, I've got the same thing I had. Hopefully, you can see that. I've got this little tiny spot. It's just darker right here, so I need to go ahead and keep tapping that up. You hear it dinging? That's hammer on dolly. That's what you want. Slowly raise that, ma that material up. Okay, it's getting smaller. Uh, there's also a file you can use that's got a uh, Basically, it's like a file, and uh, it's got the serrated edges where when you black this out, when you beat on it, you see where it's coming up. Um, I made one out of a regular file, just heated it up with a torch and bent it. And, uh, the only problem with it is, is it, it does leave a little bit of the little file indentations in it. It's not bad, you can still, still rub it out. That right there is close enough that you could, I mean, just a little bit of uh, putty, what I call putty coat. It's a uh, glazing putty, basically. There's almost, there's just literally nothing there, but there's still these little imperfections. So I'm going to keep working it to go ahead and get those, try to get those out as perfect as I can. Sounds like a good plan. Remember, mom ain't happy. Very important. That is if you want to stay married. I've been married 26 years. I've been together with her for 30. Um, and she's still my best friend, so I'm a very, very lucky man. You can see, still have a high right here, still a little bit low on these edges. Here, I'm going to do something different. 
Go ahead and sharpie this and then I'll file it. I'll sit and file it. Okay? Instead of sanding it with the block, I'll go ahead and just use the file to show my highs and lows, basically. See, it's pretty much gone. Uh, and this, with rust pitting, you can see this, maybe you can see that, but it's rust pitting basically, and uh, that's just gonna have to be filled with putty coat anyway. But not a whole lot you can do about that, except fill it, make sure there's no rust in there, clean it out real good, and just, you know, do your epoxy primer and then put your little glaze putty over that or whatever. Uh, and probably the primers would feel that since it's so, it's almost like a surface rust imperfection. But uh, I still have one over here, but um, grab this real quick. See there, it's gone. I mean, it's a, that's a perfect repair. There's really would be no reason to have filler put in there at all. Let me bring you a little closer. I've got it plugged in, so. But uh, you literally, and like I said, all these little pits are just little rust pits, but that dent was right here, and you can still see that little tiny area right there is just a grinder mark. But literally, that is is gone and again I like I said I don't like to touch the metal with my bare hands I do don't get me wrong it's it's being a little bit OCD probably um, but because I'm going to clean it anyway and I think most guys you know do but uh, I think the less the least I can keep my hands on the bare metal the better off I am and especially if it's real humid where you live you touch that and the oils in your skin and whatever and you walk away the next day it could have a perfect rust fingerprint basically uh, luckily, it's been pretty, pretty good here. So I had a dent here, uh, and then I had one here, and they're they're pretty much gone. Uh, all you can see is maybe a little grinder imperfection mark there, and then a little grinder imperfection mark there. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna have to glaze that anyway. But you can literally get that to where that's just glass ass smooth. I still have a dent right here that I have to work out. I'm not gonna take you guys along with that one because I end up making this video ridiculously long. But I just did want to kind of give you guys a heads up, especially for the young guys who are just learning, because to me this is artwork. This is this is what this is this is part of the hobby for me, is is working the metal and 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 getting it where you want it to be, not just putting a bunch of filler in a hole and, and going on trying to cover it up and half-assing. That's not what I'm here for. Um, so let me back you out a little bit. But I think most of the guys who watch already know that about me. Uh, again, it's 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 more of a craftsman art, you know, just like a woodworker, you know. That uh, this to me is just is fun. Uh, like I said, overkill. Yes, that's going to be covered by spoiler. No one's ever going to see that. Even if I didn't putty coat it, didn't do it. Hell, if I put the spoiler over it like that, they're not going to see it. But obviously, I just wanted to show you guys just for just because I'm always talking about how you can metal work this out to where you don't have to use uh, fillers and stuff. Most people don't do that anymore because it just takes too much time. Uh, but literally this, this took me what, maybe maybe five, 10 minutes. Um, and that's talking to you guys and, and stopping and the whole deal on, in the way, on the way through. So, all right guys, uh, I'm gonna end it there. All I've done basically is I worked on uh, the nurse's car a little bit and then uh, uh, did this, the tr you know, start playing with the trunk here. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there, and I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. See ya.